Not to mention a dragon that was supposed to have lived in the marshlands. Such rumors also circulated in the trading caravan which I have right here. However, being young and inexperienced back then, my fears were premature. There was no sign of the Celtic tribes or the dragon, and the lands were so beautiful that they would preach over to himself. But the most pleasing to the eye was a newly built town still known by the name Emona. It is distinguished by a large forum and a strong city wall surrounded on three sides by the upper one. Yes, yes. Slaves. Uh, not slaves, but prisoners, exactly. Prisoners. They used to prisoners, so they would step inside the wheel and they would start walking like yeah. hamsters, only, basically. Only two prisoners. <laughs> yes, only two prisoners, and they started walking. Of course, they were blindfolded. My horse's hoof trod the soil of this country for the first time. It was in spring. The acacias were in full bloom on the top of the hill, on a backdrop of a small town by which a river flowed languidly. It was all very well, but the people, they looked as if their gods with Perrin at the fore had turned their backs on them. What could have devastated them so much? The worst of all was the sight of a young body maiden, by my humble opinion, still a virgin until she confided in me that her name was Marietica and that their town was cursed. She told me that the terrible dragon lived up on the hill and each year it demanded that the citizens offer a verdict. It is my merit that this fortress was built above Haiba, a capital of Carniola, a duchy and the hereditary possession of the Habsburgs. And every time I return to these places and see the fortress, I feel with pride yet again. When my husband first came to this capital as the Duke of Carniola, there was this modest little castle here. I think his predecessor, German King Rudolf of Habsburg, took possession of it in 1278 when he defeated King Ottokar II of Bohemia. He soon realized those ruins would not serve his needs, so he decided to tear them down and build a new castle larger and greater. He could well afford to do so, having received a handsome dowry. <laughs> 